Hi guys, in this lecture, I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu on VirtualBox in Windows 11 operating system. So first of all, what I need to do, I need to install VirtualBox in my system. So I'll open the Google Chrome browser and in the search bar, I will type download VirtualBox and I will click the first link. Okay. And this is going to take me to this page. Since I'm using the Windows 11 machine, so I will click Windows host and this is going to start the download process. Okay. I already have this file in my system, so I'm going to cancel the download process. Okay. Now I'm going to go to this directory where this exe file is located. So what I need to do, I need to right click and I need to run this ad as administrator. Click yes. And this will start the installation process. Click next. I accept the terms and condition, click next. Okay, this is where it will be installed, click next and yes. And next, install. And this will start the installation process. It will take few seconds to complete. Just wait for a while. Uh, so be patient. Okay. Uh, it has been installed, click finish and this will open this Oracle virtual box. Okay. Now this has been installed. So in order to avoid any error or any inconvenience while installing Ubuntu uh, in, in virtual box, what I need to do, I need to go to the search bar and I will type turn on. I will open this turn window features on or off. Okay. So I need to activate few options like for instance, this hyper V I need to activate this option, enable this uh, option. And then I will go down and I will enable this windows hyper um, visor platform and I will enable this and then I will enable virtual machine platform. Okay. So now everything is okay. Now I'm going to click okay. Uh, so this is going to do some changes. After this, I need to restart my computer. Okay. So I will click restart now and I will see you after the restart. So I have successfully restarted my system. Now is the time to download the Ubuntu ISO file. So I'm going to go to the google.com and in, in the search bar, I will type download Ubuntu and then I will go here in this link. Uh, then I will go to the desktop and then I will click this download this. Okay. This will start the download process. Okay. I just wait for a while. Uh, so it has been started. This will take some time to complete because the size is too large. Okay. Now I'm going to cancel the download process. The reason I have canceled this because I have already uh, placed the file in my E directory located in the Ubuntu folder. Okay. No need to start the download process again. Okay. So now what I need to do, I need to open the virtual box Oracle virtual box. Okay. And I'm going to use this file here. Okay. Now, now is the time to create a new virtual environment and the virtual VM is the name ISO images. Uh, I have to select my E directory where this file is placed. Okay. Just go to the Ubuntu folder and select the ISO image. Fine. Then I will have to click next. Okay. Uh, username. I have to set this username. Okay. And the username I am setting is you user okay ubuntu user so the password is 123qwe 123qwe okay so the username and the password remember these two things because you'll be requiring the password in the later stage of the installation process okay now click next now i have to specify the memory memory i will specify 4 gb sorry 4 gb and cpus i will specify six cpus okay then i will click next okay 25 gb i'm not going to change anything the virtual hard disk will be 25 gb okay click next 
now look at the settings here memory 4 gb processor 6 cpus are being used uh, disk size is 25 gb click finish and then it is going to start the the machine okay just wait for a while look so the machine is started right now it is running at the moment you just have to wait for a while so the complete installation process will take some time it may take more than 30 minutes depending upon your system so be patient and wait until this is done and dusted okay so look uh, it is installing at the moment I'm getting some errors configuration is likely to broken just leave this as it is just wait until we get something okay So during the process of installation, I've got this error message. Okay, we are sorry, but we are not sure what the error is. So in order to resolve this error, what I need to do, I need to disable my internet. Okay, just disconnect the internet and close this and go here in the machine and reset. Click reset. Okay, yes, I want to reset my machine and okay now just wait for a while this will take some time to complete okay So the system is automatically restarting look um, the Ubuntu has been installed in my system now it is restarting okay at the moment just be patient uh, wait for a while until it is done and dusted. Okay so this is the user that we set while uh, installing this you user and the password is 123qwe okay press enter okay so ubuntu has been installed okay uh, click next uh, skip for now i don't want to enable this okay leave the setting as it is click next finish okay uh, it has been installed i hope you have gone through the process uh, it will take time it, it has taken me more than 30 minutes okay uh, it will take time depending upon your system uh, i hope you have gone through the process thank you so much and have a great learning